Hey everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are going to open this Goodwill blue box. This is a five pound repurposed box that has treasures inside. And I'm going to do my very best to get through this entire box today because last time I cut it into two, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted. And the second one was way shorter. So anyway, we're going to see what we can do. Just realized I need to get some scissors. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Let's take a peek in this, a sneak peek at what we've got. And it looks like we have another bag. The last one was bagged too. I see some nice iridescence. I see something that's ivory in color. I'm not sure that it's ivory, but we'll take a look. First impressions. Look what I see automatically at the bottom. Dee, dee, dee. Cameo alert, cameo alert. Shall we? What do we think? Okay, yay. We got some bangles, some serious bracelets up here. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me act the fool. Wait, no, no, no. I gotta make it jewelry themed, right? Y'all gonna make me wear some bling up in here. Okay, that's enough, Margaret. <laughs> We've had enough. Alrighty, so we've got some bangles here. Sweet, sweet bangles. First, scoochies everything. We've got some I'm gonna sell. Let's play the game. What do you think? Which ones are she gonna sell? Which ones will she sell? Which ones will she put in a lot? Well, this bracelet, I'm gonna look around and see because I feel like there's a second half of it. Look, this side is flat. This side is concave. And I feel like there's another one. It may not be in my box, so I'm going to set it to the side for now and see. Because that would be cool if there's like a lime green one or a pink one that, that stacks with this one. Wouldn't that be awesome? Then this one I do believe is horn on the top and the bottom. And then it's joined together. Let's see. There's a join, if you can see in the center. The black band is kind of joined, but I think the blue, when I feel it, it's kind of raised a little bit. So I think the blue is painted on perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. Cause I can't see it. Yeah. All right. So it's cool. This is a very cool one. This is one I will for sure sell. I mean, I don't know how much it's going to be worth. I am guessing at least 30 bucks. That's my guess. I love it. We've got a beaded one. Do you guys sell these? I am, I'm gonna have to look it up too on this because I generally just like, oh, I'll put it in a lot. But I, I don't know, maybe people like these? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this one, for sure gonna put in a lot. And then this, I feel like, yeah, this isn't, remember the other one we just did, the last one? It had that, and I thought it was uh, polymer clay over, um, metal bangle. So I think that's what's going on here. And it was like encrusted. Remember just like that other one? So I feel like that is the same style of, and somebody asked like, is that like what they would do with cinnabar? Yeah. Um, but not the same thing at all. <laughs> Layered and everything like that. Yes. Over metal, but a close a, maybe that's what you meant. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. This one I will put into a lot. Then we've got uh, one of these. I have sold these in the past. Maybe I should list them again. <laughs> Every time I second guess myself, I have sold them. They do, they can take a while to sell, but I, you know, it's a maybe. I'll think about it. And then this glorious blue beauty. Look at that. Look at that. It's got this like glowy moon glow. It's like lucite, you know, and then like moon glow. Beautiful, right? Uh, this is for sure going to be one that I sell. Next, we've got a leather strap. Let's see if it's a bracelet or a choker. I guess it could be either, depending on the size of your neck. Because it straps around like so. Could be a bracelet. I suppose it, if you had a small enough neck, it could be a choker as well. That's, I mean, the leather on it's pretty rough. Don't see a maker's mark. I mean, I think that somebody could probably use it as a, in a craft lot. 
somebody could maybe re-dye the leather or bling it up or something. It's got cool hardware. I mean, that's that's always pretty cool to have. Nice hardware. Boom. Then, <laughs> uh, these are wooden beads, but they look pretty dirty, so they'll go to a lot. Oh, this is darling. Oh, it's a darling little thing. So it's got these really, really sweet little pink and gold beads. It has the, you know, you pull, there we go. You pull it to tighten it. And then it's got little charms and a little elephant. The string on it's not bad. So this is what I might actually sell because I think somebody would really like this. It's so sweet and cute. We are in Bengal heaven, y'all. Bengal heaven, cha cha. Bengal heaven, cha cha. Bengal heaven, cha cha. Bengal heaven, cha cha. Okay, <laughs> we've got a new song too. <laughs> you heard it here first, people. Bengal, Bengal, cha cha. Copyright TGT Industries. No, it's not. <laughs> I have no TGT Industries, but it sounded fancy, didn't it? You believed me for a second. <laughs> All right. This is <laughs> Bengal. It's inlaid with some really pretty purpley shell. Iridescent, purpley, mother of pearl. But it's got some chips in it. So this is one that it will go... What shell is that, y'all? Because it's not regular mother of pearl. It's purpley. Oh my gosh. I feel like I know this and I don't know it. It bothers me so much. Oh. Alright. This is going to a lot. Next, look at this one, y'all. This is a little cuff bracelet. Uh, it's small, and I, I have small wrists. But perhaps, oh jeez, can she get it off? Perhaps it's for something else? Thoughts? G and B. Can you read that? You can't read that. Right here, it's marked G and B. And it's pretty awesome. I feel it's really small, though, so perhaps it's like for a belt or something like a twisty belt and this would I don't know give me your thoughts I feel like it's not qu quite for a bracelet because it's really small and I have small wrists uh I don't know let me know then we have this red velvety beauty normally this might be one that I would say I'm in a lot but I I think I'm gonna sell this one. I mean, it looks like somebody definitely made it. Probably just wrapped some velvety ribbon around and taped it off. But I could see some, you know, goth girl like wanting a deep red velvet bracelet, <laughs> you know. Yeah, definitely a, a texture thing too. If people are into like, I, I need the feels. I got the feels for that one. Then we've got this wooden bracelet. It is broken here, so that's one I will put into a lot as well. It's cool. I would probably sell it if it weren't broken. I guess I could, nah. I mean, I could glue it, but you could definitely see, so. This one I will lot. And then this is just a little leather bangle. It's like a leather wrapped bangle, so I I'll probably try to sell that one. It's got like a snakeskin pattern on the leather, if you can see it close up. Bangle, bangle, cha, cha. Okay, <laughs> then we've got this cream colored bangle. Oh, thoughts? I'll probably lot it. <laughs> oh, it's going to a lot. Oh boy, what's happening here? What have we got? Where are we? What are we doing? I feel like I'm being led astray somehow by this necklace. Zoom it out. Maybe, maybe this is the back of the necklace? And it used to be longer and would go over the neck. It's got some cool features. I mean, these pieces are pretty cool. It feels like plastic. It's kind of peeling apart there, like some shell stuff was put in between i don't know uh they're not both like that or are they yeah they are i'm gonna put it in a lot the purple discs are kind of cool maybe somebody could take that apart and make earrings out of those that'd be cool 
Next, we've got this necklace. I like it. I like it. Uh, but it's... I'm trying to see if it's a tarnish or if it's... If it's peeling or something. Maybe it just needs to be cleaned up. That's all right. I like the gold tone around the silver tone. That's fun. No maker's mark on this necklace. Yeah, I think this is something I could definitely sell. I like it. I like it. We're going to have a talk in a minute. You and me. But first. This is a nice little necklace. It's got these bezel set little stones. And what do you say over there? NY, NWT. I'll probably put this into a lot. We're gonna see if this earring has a mate. It does appear to be missing a stone right there. But it might be in the bag if we are lucky. Look how gorgeous that is. You're a beautiful little thing and you know it. <laughs> it's like Prince. You're, you're filthy cute and baby, you know it, right? All right, next up, we've got a sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Woo! <laughs> Had to have a big woo in there. I forget it sometimes. All right. This one's fun. It's got this set. It's like plastic, but like, look at it. It's like a layer cake, like gelatin, like a layer of clear and then a layer of black. It's super pretty and classy, sassy, classy. It is marked Anne. No, 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 it's not Anne. Oh, I need a, I don't have my treasure cam. All right, I can't hook it up to my camera. So I know I had a few comments like, why didn't you use the treasure cam? Because I can't hook it up to my camera. That's why, and I just said it. Adi or Adia, Adia Kilber. A-D-I-A-K-I-L-B-U-R, Kilber. Can you see it? Maybe, maybe not. There it is. This one is really cool. It's got a great chain. It's got a great pendant. It's got a great tassel. Definitely a seller. I'll have to look it up. I don't know that maker. Maybe it's a new one to keep an eye out for. Plot. Ooh, I like the stones in this one. I don't like the dirty tassels. Dirty tassel. I don't have a song for you. You don't deserve a song. Okay, but I'll leave this for my sister because I think she could use maybe some of those beads. She can have the dirty tassel. Look, look at this one. Okay, coming closer. Looking closer. Ooh, we have got Keith Cat holding a gem in its mouth. This reminds me of Jumanji, right? And <laughs> Jumanji. All right, so. This, let me zoom it out a little bit. No, wrong way. This is really sweet. I don't see any marks inside at all, but let's get our mandrel mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If you've got the mandrel, then you are it. All right, mandrel, here we go. The mandrel says seven and three quarters. That's a sweet one. Magnetic or no, let's see. It is not magnetic, but I don't, I don't think it's gold, just from the look of the inside of it. So, definitely a seller though. It's cute. Then we've got, ah, uh, so close now. We have a lanyard. Here's how I know it. It's got a clippy. I never wore lanyards. I wouldn't do it. I would, when I taught, I would wear one of those like pulley, stretchy things that you would clip onto your belt, and I would clip all the things they wanted us to wear onto that. I hated wearing like stuff around my neck. Which is weird because I love jewelry. <laughs> but lanyards like weighed me down. Alright, so this will go to a lot. We've got another bangle, and this is like dirty satin. Almost as bad as dirty tassels. Alright, lot. Ah, oh, here's one that looks a bit like tortoise shell. So I'm gonna set that aside. I think I've got some other tortoise shell bangles. Unless I sold them. I might have sold them to a viewer a while back lot. Ooh, those are pretty stones. They feel really pretty. I mean, feel really pretty. They feel really cold to the touch. They look really pretty. It looks like maybe silver. Little tree of life. GF, GFG? 
Hmm, I don't know that one. I'll have to look it up, but probably gonna end up going to my sister because those stones are ones she can use. Another one, this has got a little London tag on it, but some hematite beads. Those are cute. Another G, GFC or CFG, ah, I can't read it. Okay, those will go to my sis. We haven't had any tangles to deal with yet. I bet you're waiting for a song. You need a break? All right, next up we've got this necklace. Zoom in on that. I'm trying to decide about these stones. Are they meant to be that way or are they dead stones? Are they hematite? I think they might be hematite. Pots? I think they're hematite. Okay. Then, looking along the... Yeah, I think so. Let me look at it closer real quick. Yeah, this is a nice little necklace. It's filled with little... Marcosite, I think I said hematite earlier, but you know, a little Marcosite silver tone necklace. That's pretty, pretty cool. Definitely, it kind of looks cosplay-ish. Definitely a seller. Ooh, I have this earring. This earring I have in another lot. I just saw it in my solo earring box. Gonna have to pull it out. Yes, I am. Then I've got this big pendant. Probably just gonna throw it in a lot. Y'all, I really want to detangle this necklace because I think it'll be cool. It's going to look like that. <laughs> but I can't get it right now. I'm going to have to deal with it later. This necklace I will put into a lot as well as this. And then this is uh, like a hair headband doodad. It's got one of these in the back. So that will go to a lot. Then we have this necklace. Oh dear, here we go again, right? I believe it's going to look like so long. This is going to be a piece that's going to hang down, and these little tassel y bits will hang down from it. All right, once again, I've been detangling for a bit now, or attempting to. So I think this is one. If the stones are all there, I will likely sell it. Wait, right, here we go. I think I got it. Ooh, mama mia. Yeah, it's a really long one, and then it's really delicate. So yeah, I think this is one I will sell. It's really pretty. Pretty, pretty. Then this bracelet's fun. I like it. So we've got this gold tone chain bracelet with them, some charms on it. Looks like a little claw or a tooth, a feather, and a pearl. Love it. That's definitely one I will sell as well. Got some solo earrings over here. We're waiting on mates. All right, we've got this big blue beaded necklace. This will probably go to a lot. I think it's sellable, but I just know I probably won't. Then I really like this chain. It's a black chain, probably sits at the base of the neck, and I could find a nice pendant to put on that. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to this for now. And then this necklace, it's a wire wrap, sort of abstract necklace. That is magnetic. The chain isn't, except for the jump ring, because that's just the spring inside it. But, yeah, I think this is one I could sell as well. Cool. Get some good sellable pieces here so far. This nice, spiral brooch. It is missing a stone. It might be in there, so I'll set it to the side and wait and see. That will go to a lot. Lot. Oh, this one was probably at a garage sale. It looks like two bucks. So, this is kind of a nice one. This is, oh, you can't see it. This is a nice, maybe Howlite. 
They're almost bicone shaped. They're tied, dyed turquoise colored, uh, but almost certainly how light. So yeah, this is one I could definitely sell. Love it. Hmm. This leather bracelet and chain, I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> Get back in there again. Okay, I'm trying to look somewhere else. I'm looking at the camera and then trying to do this. It's not working. I might try to sell this. I think someone might like that. It's got the leather. It's got the chain. That's going to be somebody's game. Ooh, I rhymed. We've got another. I feel like somebody told me. Look these up. This is... Energy. Okay. Uh, it says it's an Alex and Annie. Do they do stuff like this? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Those are nice beads, though. They're cold stone beads. Ooh, these earrings I like a lot. They're not my style so much, but I kind of want them to be. <laughs> uh, I may I may try these on as catch and release. They remind me of some coach earrings, like studs that I have, but that are just gold tone. But I don't think they're a coach brand. No, no marks on them. But yeah, if I don't end up catching and releasing them, I will just release them and sell them because they're pretty. Same thing here. These are really pretty earrings. They've got this peach coral colored teardrop and then a little square and a little circle stone up at the top. Those are nice. We'll sell. Ah, thoughts on these little butterfly earrings. Would you sell those or lot them? I can't decide. I cannot decide. Those little earrings I'll probably lot up. Even though I love the color, that's that green color. I just love chartreuse. So all of this will go to a lot. It's a couple of string bracelets. And then this necklace. And then this is a little Hello Kitty. But stones are missing from it. And I might save the chain. Because I could use the chain with something else. Let's see. It's not magnetic. It's not marked either, so... This one I will lot. Oh, bonus hair. Here's another that says Alex and Annie. I'll have to see. I haven't seen this style from them, but maybe. If so, I've got a couple now. Oh, here's another one of these. This is cute. I had a few people wanting the one from my last lot. So here we go. We've got another bracelet with a little cutesy skull on it. Love it. That's a seller. This pendant is so interesting. It's a drop pendant and it's got these little pink stones. This flower's got these little pink stones and then a, like a little metal rose in the center. So unique. I, <laughs> we've got this little pendant with some pink and white crystal stones in it. Uh, this is the back, so you know they're not real. And so that will probably go to a lot. And then this little charm bracelet. This is adorable. I love it. It's got these little heart charms, little gold hearts, and then a larger heart at the end. It's got a toggle clasp. This is one I will for sure try to sell. I think someone would love it. Love it. Beautiful. And then we've got a hematite turtle necklace with a hangers on chain those will go to a lot look at these oh I love these beads they're beautiful these are ones again I'll probably give to my sister they're in that same style as these others that I've got here are they pretty okay then this is a multi strand bracelet it, let's see, there's a tag here. Hang on. Ah, American Eagle. This will probably just go to a lot. I think it's maybe sellable, but oh, yeah. We've got a little, like, link looking ring here. Kind of a little chain link looking ring. Let's inspect it for marks, shall we? Any stamps? Not yet. See, no stamps. Yeah, there's no stamps on it. Now that I look, it's more gold tone. But I might still try to sell it. I mean, it's cute. Somebody might enjoy that. 
Mandrel, mandrel, who's got the mandrel? If you've got the mandrel, zoom out. Here we go. Then you are it. It's fairly small. It's a five, about a five and a half there. Cool. This one will go to a lot as well. This one probably, look at this. It's like a lacy looking choker. I can't get it to look straight. Here we go. Like so, and then it's got this little drop on it, but some of the lacy bits are frayed. I guess I could be trimmed up, but eh, that'll go to a lot. This necklace, kind of like a, not quite a torque. I guess it's kind of a torque, but it's got, oh, that's pretty. Little blingy blings. Ooh, maybe I will try to sell this. I love the little blingy blings. I want to wear it on my head. I want to wear it on my head. All right. I would show you me, but you don't want to see me. I promise. I look a mess. I look a mess right now. I have done not with myself today. Up. I've got this necklace which I might actually need help with I'm not I don't think this pendant belongs to it but it's got this hang tag with a crown little crown over here and then this is a J with a crown over it on the lobster clasp so I love this chain again I don't feel like this pendant goes to it but if you know this brand I'm gonna have to ask you to help me and the little heart looks like it's got little arrows kind of arrowing around. It's cute. I'll have to look into that as well. Next is a sweet little chain that's got a crystal at the base of it. That's a nice little one. I might might sell it. We'll see how I feel about this, this part of it. <laughs> I don't know. Then this one, I didn't quite get it untangled all the way, but you'll get the idea. It's got a nice little rose, and then it's got some nice beads that hang down and a charm that says Amour. That's sweet. I love it. So yeah, that's a seller. Can you see that? The light, it's gotten dark outside, so it's cloudy. There we go. Amour. This one is pretty cool. We've got a wide sassy tassel, sassy, sassy tassel. Can you see it? This is my sassy, sassy tassel song. Woo! Um, but the white paint is chipping off on part of it. I love it. I feel like it just needs to be repainted, but I'm not the gal to do it. So it will go into a lot. However, this one is a seller. Look at this. It's huge. It's got this bright blue background. Awesome elephant. That's definitely going to be one that I sell. Then... Let's look at this one. This is pretty cute. Probably just gonna go to a lot though. And then we've got this one that's got like this little Y on this chain. It's got an, a hook and eye clasp. And what does this say? So if you can see, probably can't, in that, on that little stamp right there, it's a, a swan. I think, yeah, if I flip it over, it's also a swan. Oh my gosh. Let me zoom it in. So that's a Swarovski. So this is definitely going to be a selling, a sellable piece here. Let me zoom it in so you can see. So that's the little swan. And then it's also stamped with the little swan right there, but it's teeny. So this is a Swarovski piece. So this is one that I will for sure sell. Beautiful. Oh, skeins and skeins of yarn. No, it's not. It's just thread. Someone has taken some thread and tied it up and wrapped it up. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in the lot. Look at these beads, though. We've got some fun wooden beads that have been painted with, like, maybe little paisleys or something. I'm going to try to sell that. That's fun. 
Oh, look at these earrings. So these earrings have got a little pink flower, a green leaf, and a little pink bead. Those are ones I can sell. They're super cute. Next, we've got this memory wire bracelet. I'm gonna give that to my sister. Those are fun. Then this one, I feel like I had one like this in another, I did, I know I did. All right, so that's one that, yeah, I think I can sell that. It's pretty awesome. Another bangle, I think I could sell this. This is metal. Metal there, metal there. No marks on the inside that I can see, but I think it's pretty awesome. So that's a nice thick cuff, like not a cuff bangle, but you know, a nice big one. Metal, heavy duty, cool. That little ring, it's not magnetic, but it's not marked either. So probably just gonna wait and see if I have any I can stack with it. Ooh. All right, thoughts? I feel like I see necklaces like this. This is a Charming Charlie one. Uh, I'm probably just gonna lot it up. This one, oh boy. Magnetic, I don't like the leather. It's kind of grody on that one, but I like these. That'll go to a lot. Another little gold tone bangle. Probably put that into a lot as well. Lot. Let's see, what have we here? We've got this gold tone necklace. I like the chain on it though, it's very cool. I don't know what kind of chain, what you would call that. Hmm, uh, gosh, would I sell it? Maybe. It's a cool enough chain that I think if I found a really cool pendant to go on it, that that would actually sell. Ooh. Oh, this is like those earrings. Oh my gosh, I may have to fish them out. Yeah, I might try to sell this, fish those earrings out and sell those together. Sweet. <laughs> this is vintage, vintage cool, right? It's got some little painted, what are those? Morning glories, maybe? They're cute. Forget-me-nots, and that's an Avon one. Totally cute retro vintage Avon necklace. This one, looks like it's missing a couple pearls. I like the yellow leaves though, but probably gonna go ahead and put that in a lot. That's a Jerry's. Yeah, that'll go to a lot. Let's see, that'll go to a lot. So this necklace is pretty cool. Uh, I like this big pendant, big and pink. It's a quite a statement piece. It's got some little earrings hooked into the chain. So what I may do is just keep them together and then just throw these little earrings in like as a like a little gift, you know, to whoever buys this whenever I put it, list it eventually, finally, and just have those kind of with it. Cause they're cute, why not? They're hooked onto it, it was meant to be. There you are. Let's take a look at you. You are a cameo. Here's this, the telltale. We can't see the back of it, but I wonder if it was remounted. Remounted? Is that a thing? It is a shell cameo. See, you can see where it was originally carved. You can see the different colors and then the dips, the ups and downs in it. So it's not like a resin pressed one. Uh, looking at it, I'm guessing it was probably laser done from just my guesstimate. I don't know though, now that I'm feeling on it, no? I don't know. I mean, I can definitely see the carving marks on it. Tell me what your thoughts are. Let me look at the joints. So you can see where, you know, it's not just like a cream resin placed on top, because you can see where her hair, her hair, especially when you get in there, you can see where her hair is kind of pink along the edges, it's hard to see. So like along there and there where it's carved uh, and it just like goes into the pink ness. Interesting, very cool. Then we've got these pretty, oh look how far. I don't know, I'm like tempted to start trying to sell more faux pearls y'all because our new vice president, she likes to wear the pearls with her chucks. So I may try to start selling and listing some more of my faux pearls because I have a feeling that's gonna, we're gonna see an upswing in people wanting to buy some faux pearls. That will go to a lot. These will go to a lot. Oh dear. Oh look, look. This pendant is 
fun. This string is disgusting. What's going to happen here? Ready? Look, it looks like it's tied onto this thing. Like somebody has tied the rope around it. You're being choked, woman. You've got to break free. So I'm going to cut this string off, put a better like jump ring or something on this because remember, remember this black necklace we had? Wouldn't this just look perfect? Forget all this mess and put it on this. And now we are talking. This has got to go. But I can get something, I can get something going over here. You just have to just go and put it on that sweet black chain. I think that would be perfect. There we go. I'll fix you. We've got this angel, this will, it's broken. But so that will go to a lot. Then that will go to a lot. I'm trying to see something here. I've got a nice Disney bracelet. Let's see, turn her around. It says Stacy. Disney, Disney, Stacy, November. Cute. I mean, some of the letters are missing some stones, but some of the charms are sweet. Looks like a Tigger, Fantasia, Tink. Yeah, I'm going to check it out and see if some of these can be salvaged to sell. Cool? Uh, those are pretty retro cool, so I might try to sell those. Those are totally 80s, aren't they? Oh my gosh. Now, we did, the mate for this one did show up. The stone on that one is missing right there. Let's dump the bag and see if it's down in the bottom, because I can glue it in if it is. I can work with you if you're there. It's not. Oh, what would you do? They're so gorgeous, aren't they? I love them. This beautiful Art Deco looking earrings. Curses. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to set them aside and somebody's going to give me the perfect idea or somebody's going to say, I want them anyway. Okay. That's what's going to happen. Let's make a thumbnail. Thanks so much for being here everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go down there and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. And leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite piece from today was. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!